everybody, it's Kara from Plaid. Welcome to the 2022 New Product Showcase. We are so excited to show you all the new products that Plaid has created this year. This week, we will be live on Facebook at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. So you wanna stay tuned all week. Again, we will be talking all about this amazing new products that the teams have created. We're so excited. There's so much newness, so much fun. Um, we did this last year, so this is our second um, new product showcase, and we are going to be bringing you information and inspiration and so much fun this entire week. So again, we will be live at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. right here on Facebook. If you want to watch the live after, you can always watch it in our feed, but it will also be on Plaid's YouTube channel, so two great ways to check it out. You also want to go to platonline.com slash new because we have pulled together all the new product for you on a landing page and made it really easy to check out and shop all the brand new product. So you can purchase right from platonline.com. We've got Tanisha here in the studio, so we're going to get started and we're going to be talking about Folk Art Glitterific Pop. If you have any questions or comments while we're live, please ask them and I'll be checking them and we can always respond live or after we are um, off air. And we're going to be doing a giveaway. So you want to make sure that you comment, like, and share this video. And then we will pull a winner and be giving away whatever product we're talking about at the time. So if you like, comment, and share on this live while we are live, we're going to pick a winner. And we are going to give you Folk Art Glitterific Pop. So we're so excited. We love doing giveaways. So Folk Art Glitterific Pop is brand new, again, for 2022, and it is the newest in the Glitterific family. So we have Glitterific Fine, we have Glitterific, and we've got Glitterific Pop. So this is 12 colors of multiple colored glitter particles suspended in a milky base, but it dries clear, and it is holographic glitters. Holographic's hard to say on a Monday morning holographic glitters that are like fun confetti. Like it's like fun, a party in a bottle. It is so amazing, so shiny. So if you are a fan of glitter, this is a really great product. It is great to add to a painting, to do a whole project with, to add just a pop of sparkle. It's great for gifts, great for celebrations. Again, it is multiple size holographic glitters suspended in a milky base that dries completely clear. So you just get that beautiful shine of the glitter. And it is like fun, a fun party in a bottle. I love, love that about it, that it is, makes everything so much fun. There are 12 colors, so Tanisha's gonna show you all those colors while she's crafting, and she's gonna demonstrate um, different ways that you can apply this product and talk about the different surfaces. You can see some of the great projects that we have here. So this is one of our favorites. Um, you can take a wine bottle or a champagne bottle, whether it's, um, or just an empty glass bottle, but this is a great way to give a gift. You can take a bottle that you haven't opened and drank yet, and you can actually put this glitterific pop all over the bottle. Just, it makes a great decoration, especially for like a birthday party or anniversary or, um, you know, a wedding shower, bachelorette party. It's a really fun way to add a pop of sparkle to your gift or your celebration. So we love doing this. We also um, can use it on home decor, so it's great for multiple surfaces. So whether it's like porous or non-porous, um, it works really great. You can see we did this lamp base and Dylan's gonna get, um, Dylan's working the camera and he's gonna get some really good close-ups so you can see all those multi-particles and how shiny it is. But you can see we did a lamp, we did this great little terrarium with an air plant in it. And again, just that shine and all the different particles of the glitter are so fun. And the color combinations also. So Tanisha will talk about that. So. Again, we've got, this one is actually called um, Birthday Party, and it's gold, blue, and pink all in one. So I love the fact that you get multiple colors, so you can really mix and match it and you know personalize your project. Um, it is indoor-outdoor, which is a great feature and benefit. So you can spruce up your patio, um, do your flower pots. Again, it's just a, such a fun product. So um, Tanisha, I'll let you have it, and you can show them how fun Glitterific Pop is. 
Hello everybody, like Kara said, my name is Tanisha and I am here with Plaid talking about Glitterific Pop. It is in our folk art line and I'm gonna show you some really cool things that you can do with it. And I'm gonna show you some tips and tricks too about using it. So you can see here, this is the entire line. Um, it comes in a bunch of great colors. Just like Kara said, the really fun thing about it is that it gives you multiple colors in one bottle. So you're not dealing with loose glitter um, that you're mixing and matching. You are uh, you know, using a really nice paintable glitter that makes no mess. And the no mess part of it is a big one for me. I have two kids at home and they love glitter, of course. Um, but having loose glitter in your house is um, frightful. And this stuff is so clean and easy to use. It is really easy to clean up. You can just wipe it with water uh, while it's still wet and you're not gonna end up with glitter in your floorboards for the rest of your life. Um, this is a really, really great product, especially um, you know if you have little kids who love glitter, but it's also good for, like Kira said, um, doing something like a birthday party gift or wedding shower. Um, you know, it's adults love glitter too. I definitely love glitter. And so, you know, here on my table, I have um, uh, a couple terrariums. I have a couple glass jars. Um, you can use it on glass. It, you don't want to put it in your dishwasher, but you can hand wash these just fine. And it does come out nice and smooth once it dries. So you're going to do, um, you know, you, it, for a finish like this, you would have multiple coats. And Dylan, if you want to switch over to the overhead, I will try to show some of these up close. That's a great point, um, Tanisha, that you can get a one coat and you could still see some of your surface through but the more coats you put on the fuller you know more coverage that you get yes and you can also base coat your project with a um, complementary or a contrasting color or you can just let your surface unpainted show through so there's a lot of really great options yeah and so i'm actually going to show exactly what uh kira was just <laughs> talking about i did a little experiment this week on uh, this large piece of wood. This is just a, um, oh gosh, what would you call this? A hang tag, a large hang tag. And so what I did was I base coated in white, base coated in black, base coated in uh, gold. This is actually our treasure gold, which is another one of our products I believe was new last year. And then over here, I just base coated in a light yellow. And then I did the same gold, uh, let me see what that one is called. It's called Golden Treasure. Um, and so I did Golden Treasure on top of all of these and you can see the difference it makes on whether you base coat it or keep it clear. So the interesting thing to me is that the white and the black, these iridescent pieces of glitter almost look pastel in, uh, on top of the white, but on top of the black, they look very primary rainbow. Um, and then when you go over to the gold, you get just that classic gold again. So it is really interesting, you know, you can really experiment and kind of play around with what you want your finished piece to look like. Um, and it's really fun to, to see the difference between the white and black like that. So I wanted to show you guys that, and this is um, two coats of the Glitterific Pop and I was using a brush. So that's another thing I'm gonna show you is the difference between what tools you're gonna to use. So I'm going to set up my crafting section here and I've got a, a paperboard A and let's see, let's go with the Galaxy. Whoops. Yeah, do you want to show them the colors? Can you sure. give them like a, um, yeah, a preview so, of the colors? Sure, so this one is, um, is called Galaxy and this is a purple. And like Kira said earlier, this does um, have a milky base, but it does dry clear. So that was the purple. This one is called Dragon Scales. And this is a green with gold. We've got black ice, which is black with silver and some iridescence as well. I believe all of these have an iridescent uh, quality to them. So it's the, the two, you usually get two colors plus an iridescent. A neon explosion, which is probably my favorite. I love a good neon. And that's pink, gold, and iridescent. 
princess potion, which looks like uh, two different pinks, a dark pink, a light pink, and an iridescent. Snowfall, this one is gorgeous. This is a pastel blue, pastel uh, pink, and pastel yellow plus iridescent. Birthday party, and Kira was talking about that one earlier. This one's got the uh, pink, blue, and gold. We've got silver lining, which is uh, multiple silvers plus an iridescent, a bit of a, a rainbow iridescent in there. Yeah, it's that holographic that gives it holographic, that iridescent yeah. shine that is so pretty and it makes it so unique. Yeah, and then we have golden treasure. Um, looks like a couple different golds and an iridescent. And then I believe I got to come over here. We've got a beach vibe. This one's really pretty. This is a blue, a green, iridescent. And what am I, am I missing any? Let's see. There's 12 oh, colors. We have unicorn magic. How can you forget unicorn yes. magic? <laughs> My kids would love this one for sure. That's a teal and a purple. Really, really pretty. Yeah, that's the one that's on this lamp over here, the teal and the purple. Um, I love that there are the basics, like when we think of glitters. Um, oh, and we actually have Tanisha, if you want to give this to Tanisha, she's going to show you these domes with everything painted out. Oh, yes. Um, this will give you guys a really good, like, swatch view of what the colors look like. Yeah, and so one last color I just want to tell you about is Sunset Canyon. And I see this one as being a really good um, home decor uh, colorway. So you have a gold, sort of a copper. Um, it's really, really pretty in there. Yeah, I know you have some samples up there. It is. It's a really pretty mixture of metallics. Yeah. So the what I was saying is like when you think about glitters, you think of your basics like gold and silver, um, you know, maybe a, a, like a clear holographic. But this is like so nice that there's the basics, but then there are these really fun ones. And you know, the product team designed them and picked these colors that it's great for, like we said, birthdays and weddings and holidays. So you, somebody was like, oh, I can't wait to see the black and the silver. Like, that's so great for Halloween. And so, you know, and you can do Christmas with, and, you know, any holiday that you're celebrating. It's really great that there's so many different options. Yeah, so if you want to switch back, Dylan, I have these samples. Um, these are these are a little domed sample that we use for, to, for, for photography um, so that we can get the, the real glitter pop out of it in, in the, the photos. And so you can see, I mean, oh my gosh, those are so shiny, they right? They're beautiful. They're gorgeous. And so you can see this was that neon that I told you about. Um, and, and you can just see that you get, you're getting really two, three colors out of that. Really, really pretty. I love it. Okay, good. I'm glad everybody got to see that. So let us know if you want to see any of them up close too, because yeah. they are really beautiful. All right. And I'm just I mean, gonna... those are just little pieces of wood, but they look beautiful. You they do. Even magnets or something, they could be cute. Yeah, they do look really nice. Okay, so let's get crafting here. So I've got my, uh, my paper, oh goodness, I'm losing the word. Paper mache, yeah, paper mache A here that you can buy at your you know, local craft store. And I am, let's pick a color. Let's do something you'll really see on camera. I'm gonna go with Galaxy. And I'm basically going to put some out on my plate here. And you can see on camera the milky base but that will dry clear. So it's nice and thick. It's not gonna run off of your project. It's a good consistency. And I'm just gonna pick up quite a bit on my brush there. And I'm just going to brush it on. And you can kind of keep going over the same spot to get that glitter off your brush and onto your surface. But you can see even just that one first coat we're already getting a ton of glitter flakes and shapes on there. And you can see that they do have different uh, sizes. So we have our big glitter pop shapes and then you have your teeny tinies. And that's really what's, what's getting you that lovely shine is all those different shapes and colors. And it does dry really smooth. Which it I does. Like. Um, so Glitterific has 
different size glitters in it and it is different than glitter pop um, and it also has a different texture when you um, touch it and this is really amazing because it is so smooth like those glitters and that milky base just level out so you're not going to see a lot of brush strokes and again it's just going to have that really beautiful smooth shiny finish on it no matter what and you're just putting that directly on paper mache so it's great for wood for metal, for tin, for hard plastic, on glass. Again, and it's indoor-outdoor, which is great. So you could do terracotta pots, you could do planters. Um, there's a lot of really great options. Yeah, and we, uh, we do use this in the studio here when we need a bit of shine. Um, I have worked a lot with the gold version. Um, we've done a few uh, wedding wedding sets with wine glasses doing the bottom of a wine glass and a bottle to match which is a really nice little gift or table setting so you can see that's just one coat and you can see that it's I mean you know that's coated a, a pretty good amount so the more coats that you add the more shine you will get but if you like this look you could stop there as well you don't have to keep adding coats um, this will do it and it will uh, dry shiny and flat and you know it dries pretty quick but even just that even though it is a milky base that looks pretty darn sparkly to me it does yeah Can you get any closer on that yeah let's see there we go yeah so, and so you can see you, so bright yeah and you probably can see that it's a bit milky but it dries super fast um, not not too fast you you'll still be able to work with it but once it dries you know sort of like a white glue that dries clear you'll see that start drying on the surface and you'll you'll see it becoming clear yeah right before it already dries. yeah so you could just leave that or you could go back once that's dry and do another coat for more coverage right so I like the flexibility if you need a little bit of sparkle or a lot of sparkle yeah so the next one I'm going to show you um, let's use golden treasure on this already base coated terracotta pot so this is base coated in maybe a mustardy yellow so you can use folk art multi-surface to base coat. Yep. So Glitterific Pop is in the folk art family and it is, um, again, indoor-outdoor. So folk art multi-surface is also indoor-outdoor. So if you do want to go ahead and base coat your projects and it's something that you're going to be putting outside, use folk art multi-surface is great. And again, there's so many color combinations and so many folk art colors um, that you're going to find something that matches perfect for that base. Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna show you now using a sponge. Um, simple square sponge. This is my favorite to use here in the studio. And um, I, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take that Glitterific Pop and I'm just gonna grab a scoop of it with my sponge. And then I'm going to just sponge it on. And this is actually one of my favorite ways to use Glitterific Pop is with a sponge because you can get a ton of coverage really fast. So basically you're blobbing it on there and then spreading out the, the, the pieces of glitter yourself. So you're you have a little bit, on. yeah, like you have a, a little. Sponge. And again, mess free, like we mess were free. saying, mess free. Like this dries, it doesn't come off. Yeah. And again, look at that detail that we were able to get here on the lamp. So even though you, um, you know, put it on with a sponge or a brush or a palette knife, you can really get in form and shape it. Like you just need to tape it off. And then once you remove that like low tack or stencil or painter's tape, you can really get some really fun design. So it's not just, you have to paint your whole thing glitter. So right. You could do shapes, you could do a tape off, you could do like, make it look like it's dipped. I think some of the projects up there look like that. Mm -hmm. So you can get a really good line. Um, and I don't know if you're planning on showing this, but a tri trick on that is, once it dries, if you just take a X-Acto knife, like a very sharp blade, you can actually score it. So you want to score between the Glitterific Pop and the tape and then remove it. So it's going to basically, if there's a piece of glitter that kind of overlaps, you're not pulling that glitter off. So if you just give it a quick score, it's going to make uh, removing that tape really easily and you're going to get a really good crisp line. Yeah, that's a very good tip that we use here in the studio. Um, when we are doing our own crafting projects.
Yeah. So this looks a little silly right now because um, because I'm using the sponge, we're introducing some air bubbles. So we're going to give that a minute to dry and you'll see that those bubbles go away and it also will become clear. So I'm just going to put this to the side. That's a great point. So when you're manipulating it, if you get bubbles, those are going to go away. So don't worry about yes. it. That's a great point. And somebody was asking if you can use this on glazed ceramics. You absolutely can use this on ceramics that have already been glazed. Um, you cannot put it into heat, so you wouldn't want to bake it after, um, but you can use it on something that's already been baked. Yes. Um, okay, so let's see. We haven't done wood yet. So here's a, um, this is one of our surfaces. This is just a little crown. Maybe you're making something for a baby's room or adding this to a homemade gift. Um, these surfaces are really fun and sort of open-ended. So... Let's see, I'm gonna try a palette knife on this one and let's go with Beach Vibe. So Beach Vibe again is a green and blue and gold. Whoops, this one doesn't have it. You know what? Okay, so we're going Beach Vibe. <laughs> love it, it's the summer. I would love some Beach Vibes. Yes, it is that time of year. Again, just all the color offerings are so great. I'm glad you had those domes to show everybody. We should show the black also. It's, and oh, that, yes. That is beautiful. Again, seasonal, every day. You can never have enough glitter. This is the mess-free way to do it. It's going to be different than just sprinkling some loose glitter. Um, it's just great for home decor, for gifts. It's indoor, outdoor, which I love. All right, so I'm going to use a palette knife here, and it's just a plastic palette knife. And I am just going to spread it on there like you're making a peanut butter and jelly you're just going to get it on there now this a palette knife might be better for a larger surface but i did want to show it to you and you can see you can really spread that out and that's the fun thing about this product is it's you can really kind of manipulate it like kira was saying you can manipulate it and, and get it exactly how you want it yeah, without having to place each piece of glitter. Yes. You can still have a lot of control. Because yeah. again, sometimes glitter, you don't have control over it. And, you know, then your project is basically getting glitter on everything after uh, you're done. So this yes. is going to keep it all contained. I love that looks great. Entirely contained. You could contained. ombre it also. So you could use multiple shades of this glitter. So you could go from... Um, you could do the Neon Explosion and the Golden Treasure together. You know, it's, it's really whatever you want. You could create like a rainbow effect. You could kind of um, have the glitters like ombre or fade up into another glitter. So then it starts to create like a rainbow effect. Yeah. There's so much you can do with this lovely paint. And I don't, I don't know if we've said, but... Uh, if you would like to buy this, you want to go over to pladonline.com slash new, and you will see all of our new products, and this will be one of them. Yeah. You can check it out, see all the colors. It's also available in some of your local retailers, um, but definitely pladonline.com is a great place to shop from. All right, so let's let that one dry. And again, just one coat, you can see that's pretty good coverage and you're just going to keep building on that to get it to where you want to get it and last but not least I do have a piece of glass here so this is just an upcycled uh, tray that we most likely got at a thrift store oh I love that you said upcycle also because this is a really great way to bring life into um, you know a thrifted piece or a piece that you have and you want to just give it an update or a little bit of sparkle that's a really great thing to do yeah especially this summer definitely you could do this tray and put it on your patio it would be really cute so you were talking about the tape let's do that let's do a taped off piece so someone's asking they have a bottle of this already and it's really thick so it is really thick like if you open this bottle and take the seal off it's not coming out it's thick like you need to squeeze it and that's the part of the beauty of it and the formula that it is um, so someone was mentioning adding a little bit of water and you can give it a shake also you could also store your bottles upside down that'll help also um, if you have more questions though please direct message us and if we um, you know 
need to help you with customer service on that, absolutely let us know. We'd love to get feedback like that. Or if somebody has a tip or trick, let us know. Yeah. And if you are, um, if you do have any questions, please let us know. We love answering questions while we're live. Yeah. It's a nice. Oh, someone wants to see the green one. Oh, green. Okay. I don't know the, what's the green one's name? The green one. Let's see. I think, oh, well, we have Beach Vibe and Dragon Scale. Dragon Scale. That's what I thought. So some, maybe we can do some of the beach vibe and the dragon scale together. Yeah, so let's see. We'll just kind of play around with this. So I'm going to do the black because you mentioned that one. I want them all on there. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we want to see all the sparkles. Okay. So we'll just do, we'll just get crazy with it. So I'm just going to kind of go thick and you can see. But a little bit goes a long way. I know you're putting a lot yes. out on, um, on the plate just because, you know, we want everybody to see it and it's great for the camera, but a little bit does go a long way. Someone was saying that also. Yes. Like it gets good coverage, even though it's not full coverage with one coat. Like there's and a lot, I think it's because there's so much glitter in this bottle, yeah. like packed into that base that a little bit does go a long way. So just one coat, you spread that out, it's gonna have a ton of shine and sparkle. And again, it's multi-sized color, holographic glitters. It is um, like fun confetti. It's like a party in a bottle. It's indoor, outdoor. It's great for multi-surfaces, um, terracotta, glass, wood, tin, paper mache. You can use it alone and let your surface show through, or you could base coat it with a matching folk art color. If you're gonna put it outside, I would recommend using folk art multi-surface. And we've got 12 colors in the line and it complements the other glitters. So we've got Glitterific Fine, Glitterific, which was our traditional first Glitterific um, formula, but they all are so different and work so well together. And they've got um, even, you know, you've got Gold Glitterific and Gold Glitter Pop. They look completely different because of the shape and the way the glitters are um, in that bottle and the different tones and shades that you can get. So you can use them alone or use them together, which is awesome if you already have some of those. Yeah, and you can see with the overhead, I am just kind of going around trying to use some of the ones we haven't shown yet. So you can almost get like a tie-dye effect by adding yes. multiple glitters. You know, we've done so much pouring too, but this could be like a fun way to kind of get that same effect of swirling um, you can actually, this is great to add to your pours. Sometimes we like to go back if you do paint pouring, um, like with our drizzle um, or, folk or, or apple barrel pouring medium, and we like to add a sparkle or pop to it. So this is a really fun one. Um, again, just get a color that matches or complements it and just add a little bit of this and it's gonna dry completely clear and just give it a little shimmer. Yep. And hopefully everybody can see what I'm working with. Yeah. And definitely check out platonline.com slash new, like Tamara was saying, because you're going to be able to see this and all the brand new products we're going to be talking about all week. You can watch this video on Facebook after we're live or on Plaid's YouTube channel. So you'll be able to, you know, go back, check this out, um, see what we did once you get the product home and you're able to craft with it. PlatOnline.com, you can purchase right there. This is also in some of your local retailers, so check them out on, on Amazon also. Um, it's so fun to be able to show everybody all this new product. The full lines are out now and available, which is really fun. This is like such a fun time of year for us. We're gonna be here every day, the team, from a, on 11 a.m. at 11 a.m. and 3 p.m. bringing you new product showcases. And we'll be doing a giveaway also during each one. So remember you wanna like, comment, and share, and we're gonna pull a winner, and you're going to get the 12 bottles of the Glitter Effect Pop. So we'll pull that immediately after it's done, and we'll message the person and let them know. So that's really fun and exciting also that you have a chance to win um, some of our new products. Yeah, I love doing giveaways. Um, it's always fun to see who applies for the giveaways and who wins. Yeah. And we yeah, do. Yeah, everybody's loving it, loving this looks fun. It is fun, right? Like it is it summer, is. it is fun, it is glitter, it's a party in a bottle. Um, I don't know how you don't have fun with confetti. And you don't have to clean up the confetti glitter mess when you're yes. done, like usual. 
So this is great for teens and tweens, um, you know, granddaughters, nieces, nephews, everybody. Um, you know, if they're home this summer, this is really fun. Um, you can't have enough glitter. All right, so I've got my half here. So basically, you know, once that dries, like Kira said, you would take your X-Acto knife, score it along the tape, and then when you pull it off, you'll get a nice uh, clean line. And let's just look back before we say goodbye. I just want to look back and look at some of the things that we've done. So this one is already starting to clear up. You can see that milkiness is starting to go away and you're getting a really nice shine on that. And uh, like we said, if you wanted to base coat this first, you could do it in one of the glitter colors and then you would, uh, your coverage would go even farther, right? So that one is doing that. And let's see if we've, yeah, so you're starting to see this guy, we had a lot of bubbles and a, and a bit of milkiness and you're already seeing that dry up and get gorgeous and shiny. So that one's really nice. Yeah, and can you show them the jar actually? Um, sure. I want them to see what the glass will look like. Yeah, and the line on there, how well it. Um, sure. Goes. So this is one of our jars that we did and it's got some uh, wooden depressors inside, but what you're looking at is this nice line. So we had taped that off and painted this, uh, you know, a couple coats of, this is the one that I said would be nice for home decor. And, um, and you can see that it's, it's really great coverage, really nice line, and it sticks super well to that glass. I love that. And I can show you another one too. So this is the birthday party uh, color. And you can see that it's multiple colors. It's got that great shine. And with enough coats, um, it's no longer see-through. So you can see that looks really great. So Gwendolyn has a question. Okay. Wh okay. Gwendolyn, if you could help us, we want to know, she wants to know one of the colors. What color is the third dome on the left side of the screen moving from her body? Is it white? I love that we're live doing this. <laughs> this is it the white is, one, the iridescent? This is snowfall. That's snowfall. And I'll try to show that up yeah. close. But definitely go to platonline.com slash new and you can click right on a video that talks and shows all the feature and benefits about Glitterific Pop. So you can go right there, watch the video if you have any more questions. And also it will take you and show you the beautiful color chart um, which are those domes, so you'll actually be able to see um, on the screen, you know, and you'll be able to see exactly what color it is if you're not able to tell on this live. Yeah. Uh. So I think that's it for me. I would need to let these dry a little bit more before I could put on a second coat. Um, but I am so happy that you guys joined us here for our new product showcase. And of course, go over to plaidonline.com slash new to check out all of our products. And um, thank you so much for joining us today. Yeah, again, thank you so much. We will be back at 3 p.m. today. And so we have got a full week of live streams for our new product showcase talking all about the new product like Tanisha said um, check out platonline.com slash new there is a schedule so you can see exactly what product to check out of course you want to watch them all they're so fun and we'll be doing giveaways you can also watch this um, not only on our Facebook channel where we're um, being watched right now but you can also go to Plaidcraft's YouTube it'll be available um, we'll have a playlist so you can always go back and watch that um, we will pull our winner after the live. Um, again, we just were able to show you guys Folk Art Glitterific Pop. So this was a really fun one to kick off the new product showcase. So check out these 12 colors. They're beautiful. I'm so excited. After you craft with your products, make sure you hashtag plaid crafts. I forgot to mention that. So if you already have this in your hands and in your craft room stocked up, Go ahead and post your projects. We love, love, love to see what everybody makes. So hashtag plaid craft so we can see exactly what everybody's doing. So guys, we will see you again this afternoon. Thank you so much for joining us. We're excited. We have a really fun week ahead of us. Bye.